and the HTC One M8. We have HTC's flagship for the first half of 2014 versus LG's flagship. Of course, LG's being the last, this is the last of the major um, phone manufacturers to announce their device. And with that, there's some obvious advantages. So I'm gonna quickly look at these two handsets. First and foremost, let's talk about design. Now, the G2, G3, they kind of made, they kind of splashed a little bit of a premium element just because they have now a metallic finish overlaid by this uh, matte plastic finish. So it has a really nice, you know, sub, a subtle premium finish, better than last year's model, but in comparison to the unibody construction of the HTC One M8, it still doesn't quite scream premium on the same level as the HTC One M8. M8 just feels, you know, sturdier, and it has that, you know, it has a weightier feel, of course, but with that weightier feel, you get that feeling that it is a quality-made device. But again, you know, some people will like the, uh, the lighter feel and the lighter feel of the handset, so that's something worth pointing out. Um, as far as the overall sizes, we got to say the uh, LG G3 is pretty astounding considering that it is packing a significantly larger screen, a 5.5 inch one versus the the uh, 5 inch display, so a whole half inch bigger than the HTC One M8. And you can see in terms of the overall, overall footprint, the HTC One M8 pretty much matches the LG G3. LG's, uh, it's pretty much attributed to the uh, very skinny bezels that they have on the sides. You could see the extreme difference between the two. There's just a significantly, you know, a significant amount of bezel with the HTC One M8. As far as the displays go, no question about it, the G3 really captures our attention more, not only for the fact that it has a class leading resolution of QHD, Quad HD, versus just regular 1080p resolution. So the only time we actually notice a difference with that is when we're looking at very close, even now here at the camera, it might be hard to differentiate the two, between the two, but when you're in a web browser looking at really small text in a zoomed out view, you kind of see the uh, better detail and clarity we get from the uh, QHD resolution, the Quad HD resolution of the um, of the uh, LG G3. Uh, as far as the other aspects of the display, it's really hard to tell in here which one's going to have the better. Uh, you know, better viewing angles and you know more potent brightness output, but they're both more than usable with one another. Cameras, they differ from one another. You have that four megapixel ultra pixel camera in the HTC One M8 versus the beefier 13 megapixel camera uh, of the LG G3. Now, the uh, HTC One M8 has all those dual effects with the second camera, so you have those nice plus and after effects you could you could you could put into your photos if you want. But the cool thing about the LG G3 is that you have the uh, laser focus focus right there, so you're gonna have faster focus time. And for videos, hopefully that's gonna maintain the focus fat, uh, you know, more consistent as you're moving throughout the shot. At the same time, 13 megapixels, you kind of get the hint ready that it's gonna beat the HTC One M8 in terms of details. Um, processor, they're both using the 801 Snapdragon processor, I believe two gigabytes of RAM, both. Both are equally snappy, fast, and responsive. And as far as the uh, visual presentation of their respective UIs, it is definitely close one. Sense has always been a favorable, very modern, clean looking uh, interface, but LG has done a fantastic job in updating the one here for the G3. They kind of follow the same approach when you go to different aspects of the uh, of the uh, of the uh, experience. For example, if we go to the calculator, you're going to see a specific color layout attached to each one. They've kind of mimicked each other in that way, but we first kind of saw it with the HTC One M8 and Sense. So that is a quick Quick first look between the LG G3 and the HTC One M8, guys. If you want to learn more about either device, check out our website, phonerena.com. John B. Thanks for watching.